Welcome back to Market Pros, and here we have Bitcoin on the daily. All right, so <clears throat> first we're going to go over the chart layout so you guys know what I am seeing. Just for, uh, you know, new people so they, uh, you know, can follow along. So here we have your moving averages. Yellow being your 21, red being your 50, blue being your 100, and purple being your 200. Next, we have your VPVR here to your right, which measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. All right, basically how your volume is vertical, this volume is horizontal. Next, we have your momentum oscillators, one being your RSI, another one being your MACD. Next, we have a volatility measurement, which is called your BBWP. All right, so let's move on to the analysis. Okay, so moving averages, all under each other smallest to biggest being held down by the 21 right now um and that's basically where i have this alarm it's right at that 21 and right at the poc point of control on the vpvr at 16800 remember that level okay remember that level all right so your momentum oscillators rsi basically riding that bearish control zone right now below your signal line MACD below your zero line, but negative momentum is just stable and weak right now. So, I mean, I would, I would count that as a reset. I would kind of count this, you know, a little more bearish than bullish. It all depends. I mean, this momentum can switch around either way very quickly at this point. Uh, so I'm pretty neutral on the market. I'd say 60% bearish, 40% bullish, maybe even 55% bearish. I mean, I'm pretty much caught in the middle, a little more biased to the uh, downside. All right, so let's go to the eight hour. Eight hour, right in the top of the bearish control zone, trying to get out, but still, still under it. I mean, if we get rejected and get below that signal line, that's not going to look good. That's not going to look good for the bulls. All right, MACD pretty much converged up against its signal line. Histogram isn't really showing any uh, momentum right now as your BBWP is very low, printing very low reads right now. And you are below the 10 percentile. So you need to get out of the 10 percentile and above your moving average in order for the move to start. All right, so definitely watch your BBWP. Then watch where your momentum oscillators are at that time. Let's go to the four hour. Four hour, trying to get out of that bearish control zone. Did get out, came back down for retest. Now, if we enter back into the bearish control zone across that signal line on the four hour, it's not going to look good right there. It's not going to look good. I would expect us to probably break 16,550, which is a level that we need to be watching right now. It's basically this uh, this last low, okay? Um, and uh, But ultimately, I would even move this down to this last low at 16 i would say 16 even 16 16 475 would be what i'd be looking at for the level to the downside let's go to the two hour two hour neutral median zone above your signal line macd pretty much getting up to that zero line now positive momentum is really nothing to uh be excited about it's pretty stable slightly going down um and it's kind of waning a bit right now. So if we get rejected from the zero line on the two hour, that's going to go into the bearish case as well. All right, BBWP is nose diving right now. Moving average has a negative slope. I mean, as you see, we're basically going sideways. We we kind of have a range right now from 16,650 to 16,475. All right, so <clears throat> basically that's where we're waiting to break out. Let's go to the one hour, talk about the bullish and bearish case. RSI, neutral median zone, below your signal line. MACD is above the zero line, but your positive momentum is waning. If we get this cross to the downside and head back down to the zero line, I do think we have the possibility to break it, and that's not going to look good. All right? <clears throat> so, bullish case. First of all, you need to break out of the top of the range. at 16,650. If you can do that, I would expect you to come up to the 200 at about 16,750. 16,700. By the time you get up there, it'd probably be down to there. 16,700. If you can break 16,700, 
16800 is in the cards and 16800 is a level 2 break all right if you can break 16800 18k is the next stop all right now bearish case first of all you got to break 16550 if you break 16550 i would expect a retest of the lows at 16425 all right now if you break that 15800 is the next stop and then 15500 all right so definitely pay attention right now uh, and stay nimble your bbwp is nose diving even on the one hour um, moving average has a negative slope so as soon as this thing turns around because we still are above the 10 percentile so as soon as it turns around and gets above that moving average that's when i expect the big move to start and then that uh, volatility and momentum is going to roll over into those higher term time frames let's check the 15 minute real quick 15 minute going sideways trying to get into that bearish control zone right now but thing is is do we have i mean i guess you could say this could be a falling wedge but we'll find out if it breaks out it's going to break out above the signal line as well and that will look good for the bulls on the short term time frame all right so macd is crossing your zero line negative momentum is pretty stable right now but if we do get back below this low on the histogram that's not going to look good okay for the short term time frame i would expect this to come down to the bottom of the range at 16550 if that happens even your 15 minute bbwp is getting below that 10 percentile we need to see it get back out of that 10 percentile and work its way up to the moving average in order for the short-term price action to even start moving. I mean, right now on the 15-minute, you're just going sideways, all right? Now, okay, so it looks like I'm not much of a pattern trader, but I did just notice something. All right, this could be a cup and handle. All right, so we'll find out. Basically, we need to break back above that 16,650. All right, that 16,650 will validate this cup and handle formation. All right, but if we break the 200, pretty much, uh, you know, going down back down to 16,550, we break 16,550, you know, that's 16,425 is the next stop. Basically, these last lows, maybe even 16,430. All right, I'm actually going to move this up. And yeah, I mean, that's what I'm really looking for for Bitcoin. If you guys like this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on those bell notifications so you get notified with this time sensitive content. We upload these videos every single day. I keep you ahead of the market, show your support and uh, stay tuned for these videos every single day. We also have a podcast called Table Talk. Uh, playlist is in the uh in the channel um so definitely check that out i mean we interview all kinds of people ceos of companies millionaires all different kinds of traders definitely stay tuned for those videos um also join the discord it's a fast-growing community we stay ahead of the curve we share our trades we share our strategies definitely the place to be all right so let's go over to order blocks okay so you got right now you're finding support in a bullish supply block all right but you're basically just converging and diverging away all right and to and from stochastic is pointed to the downside so is your signal line all right so we uh basically need to get back above that signal line in order to become bullish now if we continue to go down we are on the one hour right now if we continue to go down i would expect us to enter this uh oversold region you know, and that could probably bring us down to the 16,550 16, mark. You know, 16,500, 16,550 region. Basically back, back, uh, back down where this other order block is. All right, so let's move on to Ethereum. Ethereum. Where's my level? Okay, so got rejected from the red zone. Now we're basically, you know, uh, going sideways pretty much. We got a range going from 12.05 to basically 1184 all right you got your poc right under you at uh 
1195 so that's going to be major support it's also where the 200 is right now so if you do break down i would expect a major bounce there bbwp has nose dived i mean nose dived so not really any volatility yet macd find him some support on that zero line negative momentum is waning now if you cross that zero line and get back down below this last low on the macd that's not going to look good if you find support on the zero line and cross your signal line to the upside that will look good for the bulls all right so rsi getting that test to that bearish control zone if we do enter it it's another uh, bearish variable you know if we do enter that i could see us coming down to the 100 at 11.97 um and uh then we'll come back to it because if we start breaking down here below these moving averages it's not going to look good we're on the 15 minute right now by the way we're going to go to the one hour so you do have what seems to be a potential multi crossover, but I wouldn't trust it yet until there's a fan out confirmation and you get back above 1202. If you get back above 1202 and these things start to fan out, that's going to look good. Could probably get a small rejection from the 200 at 1207, then come up to the POC point of control at 1218. RSI on the one hour is in the upper neutral median zone. Um, trying to get above that signal line right now. If we can, that'll look pretty good. Positive momentum is decreasing gradually. Um, so if we do break that zero line to the downside, I would expect us to break these moving average. I would expect us to come all the way back down to 11.85. Okay, uh, BBWP is also nose diving. As soon as it crosses that moving average, we're probably gonna just gonna consolidate here for a little while longer. Bullish case is that you get above this 200 at 1208. All right, next stop would be the 1218 mark, and then probably a rejection from 1223, coming back down to the POC at 1218, and then probably enter it. That's the bullish case. Bearish case is that you break 1192. I would expect a retest of the lows around 1183. If you break 1183, 1080 is the next stop. All right, let's go to the four hour. Four hour RSI, neutral median zone. Uh, nothing really to speak of. MACD has reset. Basically, coming up to that zero line, though, positive momentum starting to increase. If we can keep that momentum up as this BBWP is crossing its moving average to the upside, getting out of the 10 percentile, the move is coming for Ethereum. We just need these shorter term time frames to really pick up. As soon as that happens, this four hour is going to skyrocket. We're either going to get back into this red zone. Or we're going to break down. Uh, like I said, it's kind of up in the air right now. Uh, you just kind of kind of wait, got to wait for your levels to be broken. So definitely pay attention to these levels. Eight hour, trying to get out of that bearish control zone right now. MACD, trying to get that fresh cross to the upside of that uh, signal line. As your BBWP is hitting rock bottom, um, definitely need to get back above that moving average and the 10 percentile. And uh, then we will pick up on the medium term time frame. Let's go to the daily. Daily riding the top of that bearish control zone. MACD basically converged. I mean, these indicators have basically reset on the daily. We're waiting for the shorter term time frames to pick up. I mean, your BBWP is printing a dark blue bar right now, which means it's as low as it can go. We're going sideways on the daily, basically consolidating under our red zone that we have had drawn for months months it's still being respected moving averages are all below each other smallest to biggest so the medium term trend is still down i mean really all we're waiting on is these shorter term time frames to show us what they're going to do all right right now it looks like we're getting a little pop on the 15 minute all right that rsi is working its way up to the bullish control zone uh as your macd is probably finding some support on the zero line so if we can cross that signal line, that RSI getting that bullish control zone, we probably will break this 1206 level and work our way up to the red zone. All right. And the POC, basically the PO, well, this VPVR level at first. And if we do fall 200 and this POC is the last line of defense. All right. So we need to make sure we stay above that if you are bullish. All right. Let's go to Solana. Here on Solana, we did have quite the pop, all right, the other day. But on the daily, it really doesn't look like shit. 
you are exiting the oversold region. You uh, are still below your signal line, but you could get you could get a bounce here if you cross your signal line. Get your MACD above its signal line. Start printing some dark green bars on that histogram. As your BBWP continues to expand with its moving average at a positive slope, you could probably get a bounce up to the 21 at 1160 or uh, 1142 in, in between there. All right. So let's go to the eight hour. Eight hour being held down by the 21. RSI trying to get up to the top of that bearish control zone. That's going to be heavy resistance. All right, same here with your MACD. Trying to get that fresh cross to the upside, but look at this momentum. It's dead. It's dead. So we're just we're waiting for Solana to decide what it wants to do. As its BBWP's nose dives below its moving average, working its way out of the upper zone. So we could consolidate here for a while. Basically, four hour did get out of the bearish control zone. MACD is rising. Uh, that positive momentum is increasing pretty good. The thing is, is your BBWP is working its way down as the price action is moving up. Makes me think this is a corrective move. All right, now your 100 is going to be at these last lows. That's going to be major resistance at 11.55. Could get a bounce up to there or to the, to the 50 at 10.50 and then get rejected. That would be the bearish case. If one of those two things happen and we do break back below 9.08, oh, 9.03. All right, I would expect $7. I would expect $7. And mark my words, if we do break this last low at $8.70, $8.71, $7 is the next stop. One hour. Let's talk about the bullish and bearish case. The bullish case is that you break this last wick high and the 200. Probably get a small rejection at 11.32. Now, 11.32 is the level that's that's the actual level you need to be in order to become bullish. If you can break 1132, 1193 is the next stop. Basically, this VPVR level and these last lows of right after the last breakdown point. Well, two breakdown points ago. All right, so MACD is above the zero line, but your positive momentum is decreasing. It won't take much to turn this thing right back down. Your, move, your moving averages look like they're trying to have a multi-crossover, so you need to get back above this 200, 1062, and this last wick, all right, on a one-hour closure. If that could happen, these moving averages are going to start to fan out. All right, now, if we break the POC, point of control, 961, like I said, we're going to bounce to 906, probably going to come down to 827. If we break that, $7 is in the cards, all right, 15 minutes. Moving averages are all above each other, smallest to biggest. Uh, we are trying to we are trying to get out of that upper zone. Looks like we could have made a looks like nah, never mind. Um, RSI working its way up to the bullish control zone. I mean, basically all we need to do is get back above these wick highs at 1019, and we could work our way to, up to that upper level. MACD. Turn it around, find us some support on that zero line. And it looks like there's some sort of regression line right here. So you're finding support right on that. Finding support right on that. All right. And then we'll have this one. So if you can break out of that, I would expect you to come all the way up here on that MACD, which will lead you up to those upper levels. What did I do? Uh oh. Um. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Wow. Never did that before. All right. So, BBWP is turning around. So, and you're still above that 10 percentile. I do expect Solana's volatility to continue at this point. We are at an inflection point. We could break down very easily. Uh, so, definitely stay nimble right now. I mean, you need to get back above this last high at 10.15 in order for it to mean shit. All right. And that's about it. If you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications so you get notified with this time-sensitive content. I wish everyone well. Happy New Year. And I will see you tomorrow.